Josh, congratulations on being number one. When you took this job uh, in, before the 2021 season, how quickly did you envision becoming a national championship contender? Yeah, I don't know that we placed a, a time frame on it. I think that's one of the things that actually had our players buy into to what we're doing. We never set a ceiling. Uh, obviously, our guys' habits have allowed us to play really consistently here in the early part of the season. Uh, there's a long ways to go. We obviously got a huge test this week in Athens, Georgia. Uh, but uh, I love competing with this team every Saturday. Before the game, and congratulations on that setting, that fan base. Uh, man, it's, it's, a, it's a thing to see in person and, and the way you guys are rolling right now. Hopefully you guys are able to keep it up. Question I have for you is about execution. You guys right now are flawless with your execution. Maybe for fans and layman's terms, Within this offensive structure, the difference between doing it there at Rocky Top and then going on the road and obviously dealing with the adverse situation of the crowd and the communication and things of that nature this weekend. Yeah, for, for any offense that goes on the road uh, or on the road, it's a little bit different in, in your communication. You have to be super efficient. You got to uh, communicate extremely well. Obviously, you're going to be on a silent count. Uh, that's something that we use here at home as well. Um, but it'll be important for us to uh, to uh, get the chains moving and, and stay ahead of things and, and not let the crowd uh, get into it in some of those third and long situations. As fast as you play, Coach, I didn't even know you used the snap count. Um, when, when you look at, um, you know, now <laughs> embracing Coach, being the number one team in the country, obviously, you know, you're preaching your message all year long. How do you handle this now? Are you going to wear it as a badge of honor? Or are you not going to talk about it? How, how are you going to handle it with your team? Now nah, we talked about it earlier in the week, knowing that the, the rankings were going to come out. Didn't know where we would be ranked, uh, but figured we'd be somewhere in, in uh, near the top. And uh, at the end of the day, one of the things that uh, our players have done here is we've tried to enjoy the journey and uh, take moments of pause to uh, reflect and enjoy what our players have built here. They've built this. And, and uh, three years ago, it didn't look like this, but... Uh, this is a proud tradition and a, a massive fan base that, that loves the Power T, and uh, they're excited about the way our players are playing. Uh, embrace it. They understand that the reason we're in this situation is because of the way we prepare, the way we practice, and then we go play for each other on game day. Uh, it's going to be the same message this Saturday. Coach, every time we talk Tennessee, uh, we talk offense, and that's it. And I, and I come into this show, and I'm trying to get the defense some love. From Tennessee, that defense may not as exciting as your offense has been, but say something great about your defense, Coach. We we will be uh, as we continue to build this. Uh, you know, two years ago we were hit uh, heavy by the uh, the transfer portal before I was hired. Um, we've continued to build our roster on that side of it and really believe in in where we're going. Uh, got a great defense coordinator in Tim Beggs, a great staff. Our players have really bought in, bought in in year two in our system. They have a much better understanding of our schemes, but they're continuing to develop fundamentally, and we are continuing to get better throughout the course of the season. Uh, we've been hit by the injury bug a little bit on the back end here in the first half of the season. We really feel like this week we'll be as healthy as we've been all season long. Josh, you've alluded to it a couple of times, the big test that looms between the hedges on Saturday. What is it about Georgia's defense that perhaps presents – uh, the biggest challenge you faced this year, with all due respect to Alabama's defense, who you carved up. What is it about Georgia's defense that you have to be acutely aware of Saturday? Yeah, well, it starts with the personnel. Uh, they're long, they're fast, they're physical on all three levels of their defense. And, and uh, if you get in third and long situations, uh, they, uh, they make it extremely difficult to pick up a first down. Um, you know, they're, they're relentless in the way that they play, and obviously they're well-coached and, and have good scheme too. So there's going to be a lot of one-on-ones that we're going to have to win, out on the outside, but in, in the middle of the field at the line of scrimmage too. Uh, you got to be extremely physical during the course of this game. It is going to be a tremendous showdown, number one against number three college. Game day will be there. Uh, we're, we're regulars around your program this year, Josh. So, uh, <laughs> so congratulations. you right. on Rocky Top, that's for sure. <laughs> congratulations on being number one, my friend. Look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.